What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We have another awesome trophy list review from one of you wonderful subscribers and today's trophy list is just an absolute killer list of great achievements. So this is from Lancashire Lad 87. For some of you non-UK viewers, Lancashire is a region in the UK where me and the lad are from. So starting at the top of the profile, Proudest non-trophy achievement, Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel defeated all developer time trials, age 36. Nicely done. So Lancashire Lad has got 4,331 trophies in total, an absolutely amazing 87 platinums, 368 gold, just over 1,000 silvers and 2,873 bronze trophies. He has played 97 games, completed 84 to give him an absolutely insane completion percentage of 98.42, averaging 3.75 trophies a day and ranking in the top 15,000 in the UK. You and me are quite close because I'm on platinum 85 right now. So you, you and me are quite close. Um, that's the only way we're close at because this trophy list is very, very impressive. Um, there are games on this trophy list that there's probably about 25 to 30 games that I wouldn't even consider plat going for the platinum. I wouldn't even fantasize about it. I mean, there are some very, very difficult games on it. So let's start from the bottom. Kind of sets the tone, starts off with the original Demon's Souls on PS3 ranked 8 out of 10. This is a very, very difficult game. It's obviously the OG one and done in five days. Um, very, very nice start to the trophy list. And then we've got the game, which is mentioned in your, your profile uh, subheader, Crash Team Racing, Nitro Fueled, another one, a very difficult game. 8 out of 10, 40 hours done in a month. And then on to one of my all-time favorite games, Batman Arkham Asylum, which is deceptively hard, actually, because I think if you watch all the videos on YouTube about it, it's kind of the um, uh, the combat trophies at the end. I can't remember what they call them. There's Predator and there's something else, but it's I think it's Predator and Combat. The combat trophies are quite hard, and you have to complete the game on the hardest difficulty, which isn't too, too bad, but I think that's a very nice first three Platinums on this account. Um, a from software game, a Crash Bandicoot game, and a, and a racing game, and a Batman Arkham game. Very, very nice. And then continuing continuing on with the PS3 games, we've got Disgaea 3, Absence of Justice. I may have said that very badly. Um, 6 out of 10, 80 hours, done in 3 months, 6 days. You will notice these numbers are very high on, on Lancashire's account. Like out of 10, it's 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 high numbers and hours, it's high numbers. Best example is the next game. Look at this, Ninja Gaiden 2, 10 out of 10, 130 hours. This one takes um, seven playthroughs as a minimum, according to the guide. So yeah. This is not the first time you'll see 10 out of 10 on this profile. This is a very, very impressive platinum to say the least. Then onto a fighting game, Tekken 7. That'll be a theme of this trophy list as well. A lot of very impressive fighting games done in two days, nicely done. Quite a short platinum there, um, Tekken 7. If, if any of you are into um, fighting games and you wanna get a kind of relatively straightforward fighting game platinum, three out of 10, 10 hours. Blaz Blue Cross Tag Battle, nice one done in one day, a nice quick platinum to warm up for a huge one. Um, so this is a big platinum in, in the trophy hunting community, Devil May Cry 5. This is notoriously hard and it's starting to crop up a little bit on these trophy list reviews. I'm quite impressed. I think it's been on um, at least two other ones very recently. So... 8 out of 10, which I don't think does it justice. It's probably a lot harder. To someone like me, it'd probably be, I think, 17 out of 10. And takes 70 hours. You have to S rank, I think, every single mission in the game. Um, which to do, if I've understood it correctly, is you're basically always at one shot. One shot from any enemy type is going to kill you. 
um, and you have to keep your combos going to get a very very high score. So you've got to fight. You got to play it on the hardest difficulty. Get through all these tough enemies. Continue your combo and use all the different moves whilst ensuring you don't get hit. Because if you get hit, it's it's game over. Um, so yeah, Devil May Cry Five, a very very impressive trophy list. I do like the um, graphic card they got for it as well. It's very nice. Then on to Wet, which you kind of chipped away at over seven months, two days, six out of ten, 25 hours, but still six out of ten. That is a very tricky platinum. And then we have Under Night in Birth X Late, which is not a game that I've heard of, um, but still four out of ten, ten hours, and you did it within a day. Available on the Vita as well, maybe one for me to look into. Then another Tekken um, Platinum, Tekken Tag Tournament HD on the PS3. Done very, very quickly. Two hours and 23 minutes. Very nice. Then on to one of the most popular God of War games, God of War 3. Done in a day and six hours. Um, very nice. Very nice. Um, 3 out of 10, 15 hours, but we all know it's, it's harder than 3 out of 10, to be fair. Um, and then Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing, another one done. Look at this, one day, six hours, one day, six hours. You can, that's, that's, that's amazing. Both PS3 games, both 3 out of 10, both 15 hours. That is so weird <laughs> how the numbers just like just synced up perfectly there. Uh, probably a really weird coincidence. And then Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls, 6 out of 10, 60 hours, 2 weeks and 2 days. I've actually never played a Diablo game and one of my friends has got the latest one and, and he's been encouraging me to get it um, so that we can kind of play together. But um, yeah, I've never actually tried one of these games, but I do know they're quite difficult to platinum. And then Blaz Blue Central of Fiction. Couldn't say that very well. Five out of 10, 20 hours, one that you've nicely done, chipped away at three months and three weeks. Then on to one of my all time favorite game series, Get um, a series that I've been doing a lot of this year. And Resident Evil 5, which I don't have the platinum in. Um, I'd be curious to know, Lancashire, if you did this solo, if you did this co op, or was it a bit of mix? Because I think that's what puts me off is I'm not sure if, you, if it's straightforward doing it solo um and also part of me thinks this is probably going to be remade in the next few years i would hope they continue with the remakes but nevertheless still um a difficult game every resident evil is not easy but they're they're, tr they're tricky they're, they're not super difficult but they are tricky and you have to do lots of playthroughs get certain types of combat uh related trophies kill related trophies collectibles etc s rank speed runs um and resi 5 is more of a action orientated resident evil game rather than a survival horror type game so very very nicely done always happy to see a resident evil game on the list and then we got bayonetta which i know is a very difficult game um clearly not for you because you did it in four days six out of ten 40 hours four days absolutely relentless um, and then on to one of my favorites, although I played the remake, Dead Space on the PS3, which I think from what I've heard is actually possibly harder than the remake. Um, from what I've seen on a few comments on Reddit, but 5 out of 10, 25 hours, done in 5 days and 6 hours, very nicely done. It took me about 2 and a bit weeks to do this. Um, if you haven't played Dead Space at all i'd highly recommend getting the ps5 version it's it's a very fun game very well made game if you like survival horror survival horror action it's it's right up your right up your street and then we've got tekken 6 20 hours 4 out of 10 fighting game and done in just under two days again really really impressive the speed of some of these platinums is very impressive um, especially the next one. Look at this. This is um, a game that's very difficult, um, especially to from software versions like myself, but it's quite a popular platinum. I feel like it's, I see it quite often. And I know like on YouTube, I've seen a lot of different people get the platinum on it, um, but there's loads of bosses in it. 
there's different endings you have to get there's uh collectibles that can be missed etc but seven out of ten 50 hours and done in a week you know literally just a week um this is very impressive i tried the first hour or two of this game and i can't remember i've probably said this before on the trophy list i'm sorry if i'm boring you but i think it took me 40 minutes to learn how to equip a weapon like that's that's where i'm at with from software games um yeah i felt really dumb <laughs> and i stopped playing soon after that uh rocket league cars and football what's not to like um this is quite a popular game this has come up a lot on the trophy lists um this is yeah a very very popular one i think i need to check if this is on ps plus and then maybe give it a shot sonic and all stars racing transformed eight out of ten only 25 hours but still and done in a week um when it comes to these competitive games like fighting games racing games i don't really like trust the hours because i'm not sure how you're meant to like judge that what could take one person 25 hours take someone else 70 hours for example um but yeah again done so quickly and then the king of fighters 13 chipped away in the background on the ps3 whilst you're probably doing all these games that's very nice to see you've got these kind of long-term platinums as well going on in the background and then on to another very awesome platinum that I did attempt, and if you've played this game, you'll all know exactly where I failed. So Titanfall 2, this is a game that has, I think, three multiplayer trophies, which I got in uh, 2021 or 2022, um, I think it was last year, and it was quite easy to get the multiplayer. I didn't need to boost or anything. It was quite popular because um, it's quite fun, the multiplayer. And then you have to complete the game on the hardest difficulty. There's a few collectibles, nothing that bad. But there is the, one of the most annoying bronze trophies you will ever go for in your life. There is this gauntlet where there's no enemies or no real enemies. You have to go through this gauntlet where um, it's just a training rooms and corridors. And you have to like wall run, double jump. And there's about 12 or 13 still statue enemies that you must kill and you have to do it within like 33 seconds or something it's like you have to be absolutely perfect nothing can go wrong every wall jump has to be perfect uh every movement has to be correct and moving forward you have to kill all the enemies whilst moving or wall jumping perfectly it's it's very difficult and i decided to stop playing the game until i got that trophy and eventually i just stopped trying at that trophy so Doing this in four days and six hours is really impressive. Um, how hard did you find the gauntlet trophy and kind of how many attempts did it take you? Like, did you just spend hours at it one day? Or I'd love to know how you went about it. And then a shift in tone to Minecraft, three days and 10 hours. Um, a game that I've never really played and I don't know, you know, I've, I've bought it to have it on my Vita because I'm built, I've kind of collect uh, PS Vita games and I'm just not sure it'll appeal to me but it appeals to millions of people out there it's so popular it's so huge but nice to see that on the platinum list then Guilty Gear XRD Revelator 6 out of 10 30 hours again done through very quickly Infamous Second Son this is a very popular platinum one of the first PS4 launch games and then Dark Souls Remastered, 8 out of 10, 70 hours, 3 days, 8 hours. Crazy, absolutely crazy to get this Platinum so um, quickly and so like, yeah, straightforward. Um, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm, Final Fantasy X HD, nicely done. I think I own this on the PS Vita, but... I don't really want my first Final Fantasy experience to be on the PS Vita. So, yeah, that's one that I'll do going forward. 110 hours. That really is a big investment. Done done over three weeks. Then Need for Speed. Done in six days, four hours. Doom. This is one that I've got. It's like one of the rare Platinums that me and Lancashire Lad share. One of the rare ones that we have. Probably there's only one or two. Um, I think there's two. There's one more coming up. Um, Doom, I really like this game. I like this game a lot. And I think it is available now on PS Plus uh, Premium and Extra. 
and if you like first person shooters definitely one to try it's it's very fun and very very straightforward platinum i think very achievable mortal kombat 11 60 hours four out of ten two weeks and a day wolfenstein the old blood done in three days six hours these wolfenstein games are very hard you have to do it on the hardest difficulty um there's normally also challenge trophies as well and quite a bit of collectibles and then on to an absolutely uh insane one sekiro shadows die twice seven out of ten 60 hours this is another one this is like bloodborne where it's a super difficult game but i do see a lot of trophy hunters do get the platinum in this um but I know it's quite different from the other From Software games, from what I've heard people and experts talk about it, the style of combat, etc., and the style of play. But um, it looks like a very cool game, but yeah, a game I'd get nowhere near ever getting the Platinum. And then Spyro, nice to see Spyro showing up on this trophy list. We are big fans of Spyro on this channel. Jurassic World Evolution, 60 hours, 5 out of 10. A game that definitely requires a lot of time. Tabletop Racing World Tour, 6 out of 10, 15 hours. So quite short, but quite difficult. Um, and then Marvel vs. Capcom, Fate of Two Worlds, 7 out of 10, 50 hours, 3 weeks and 6 days. Another very, very solid fighting platinum game and on the PS3. It's nice to see so many PS3 platinums on this um, account. Really, really nice to see you going back to the older generation and getting those classic platinums. The first Devil May Cry on the PS3, 8 out of 10, 24 hours. Uh, yeah, 24 hours done in literally three weeks. Very, very impressive. Then on to a game that... I haven't done, I actually, literally two to three weeks ago, I have it on disc and I put it in my PS and uh, installed it, downloaded the update and I started Leon's story and I was very conscious of not popping a bronze trophy because I didn't want it to become one of these many millions of games that I have like two bronzes in that I haven't finished. Um, I wasn't really feeling it, I don't know, I don't know why, something just wasn't clicking, I don't know if it was like the inventory menu, the movement, the graphics. I don't know the fact that there's so many different stories you have to play. Um, I also know it's one you can do co-op or solo. So I would like to know, um, Lancashire Lad, if you did this solo and if it's quite straightforward to do. If it is, I might then tackle it because I think from all the research I've done, I think it's possibly considered to be the easiest platinum in Resident Evil games. Um, and funny enough, I've done five Resident Evil Platinum, so it'd be nice to make number six my number six. I know that's really sad, but whatever. <laughs> Team Sonic Racing, four out of 10, 20 hours. Um, another Sonic Racing game. You're a big fan of those. Zone of the Enders, the second runner. It's what a name, the zone, zone of the Enders. Quite short, 10 hours, three out of 10, done in two days, nicely done. Crash Bandicoot, Warped. Again, completed in two days. Sega Mega Drive Ultimate Collection. This is one that I want to go back to, actually, because um, growing up, my, my older brother did have a Sega Mega Drive, and I used to play it a tiny bit when I was a kid. That was like my first interaction with video games. So it would be, it would be nice to kind of go back and play some of the classics. The Walking Dead Telltale, a very popular one on the trophy list reviews. And then Super Street Fighter 4. 9 out of 10. 150 hours the reason it's 150 hours is because you have to do 44 playthroughs why do you have to do 44 playthroughs because there are at least 35 characters in the game and you have to beat through the game on the hardest difficulty with all 35 characters um that's just one aspect of this platinum but yeah nine out of ten on the ps3 as well so you know longer loading times etc and all that done in three months this is a very very impressive very impressive platinum to go with all the other very impressive ones as well so that we've seen so far dead or alive six then nickelodeon kart races two grand prix and then game of the year last year um i think it won that award um 
Elden Ring, a very, very popular platinum and a game that I do eventually want to just just invest my time in, actually. I, I've decided I, I want to really just sit down, have nothing else on, no no platinum pressure, just, just play Elden Ring for a few months and see how it goes and hopefully, really hopefully, hopefully get the platinum in it um, because I've yet to hear anyone say a bad thing about this game nor have I heard anyone say it's average or yeah, it's okay. Every single person I've spoken to, whether it be some of my own friends, in my personal life, some of my colleagues at work, it's always along the lines of it's a masterpiece. It's amazing. It's one of the best games I've ever played. You must play it. It's like it's always like a 10 out of 10 compliment. So yeah, definitely want to eventually get to that. Guilty Gear Strive. Nicely done, another one done in a few days. Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl done in a couple of days. Banging out those Platinums, getting numbers up, very nice. Then on to, yeah, another another one we share. So this is one of my top three Platinums that I have from my list, which is Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater, one of my all-time favorite games. And to be quite blunt, it's the easiest Platinum out of the Metal Gear Solid games, hence why it's my only one so far. It's also one the one that they chose to remake, so it's coming out, Metal Gear Solid Delta, Snake Eater. I'm not sure when. Um, I doubt it'll be this year, but I can't wait for it. It's gonna be amazing. Um, so yeah, this is this is a really, really amazing game. And obviously they are bringing out the, f the first trilogy, Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, and 3, I believe in October, um, as volume one of their kind of ports back onto the PS5. So it's a good chance if some of you don't own a PS3 and you can't access MGS3, you could then get the Platinum in it through that, I hope. So I think when that Volume 1 comes out, I'm probably going to go for this Platinum again because I love the game that much. Dragon Ball Fighter Z, 8 out of 10, 100 hours. One week, four days, bravo. Then DNF Duel, Onrush, um which is another very difficult one the crew 2 and then onto marvel versus capcom infinite 5 out of 10 50 hours one week one day then oh we've got a few more that we share actually no 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 i was a bit harsh on myself we've got like five or six games that we share which is very nice a way out i'm a big fan of this game i highly recommend it if you have a co-op partner you can get this done in one solid day or like over the course of two days like how Lancashire Lad did it. It took me two evenings. Batman Telltale, I really like this one. Um, one of my favorite, probably my favorite Telltale game that I've played. Madagascar Carts, I didn't even know this was a game. It's on the PS3, that's why I didn't know. Okay, that is pretty cool. Uh, and then DreamWorks Superstar Carts, nice little cart section here. And then we've got Tekken Tag Tournament 2, Samurai Showdown. Then Persona 4, Arena Ultimax, 7 out of 10, 50 hours. Fear 3, 7 out of 10, 20 hours. And then on to an absolute killer. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, 10 out of 10, 70 hours. I think that's, I should have kept count, but I think that's the third 10 out of 10 game, which is just insanity. Um... And bearing in mind everything that you have to do, the online trophies, etc., and the competitive gameplay to do it in under four months is, whilst probably playing other games, absolutely crazy. Nickelodeon Kart Races. Nickelodeon Kart Races again. I like that. that after a very difficult 10 out of 10, you kind of just chilled out with some bright, colorful characters from your childhood and just enjoyed some Nickelodeon characters and racing. I like that. Um... The King of Fighters, 14, 6 out of 10, 50 hours. The Wolf Among Us, another Platinum that I've got. Ark Survival Involved takes 10 hours. And you did it within 10 hours. Um, nicely done. Then on to one of my favorites. I'm, tr I'm scrolling up very slowly because we're about to come to a game that I have not seen on any of our trophy lists. And it's a game that really impresses me and it's coming up very soon. Resident Evil 2, as you guys know, one of my uh, favorite games of this year, a game that I, I think was my first Platinum of the year. Um, 
and I did it much quicker than you. I did it in two weeks. You did it in 10 months. That's like the only one little thing I'll have <laughs> over you and your, your amazing trophy list. Um, this is a great game. I've recommended it to you guys a lot. And I made a, a, a kind of video going through the platinum um, about it. It's, it's uh, yeah, it's a great game. Really good survival horror. Really, really good. Um, yeah, a game that I really enjoyed. I even picked it up recently and started playing it again just for fun. It's, yeah, if Resi 2 really lives up to the hype for sure. On to Spyro the Dragon 1. Um, so you've done 2, now you've done 1. And then on to this gem of a platinum. Metal Gear Rising. Uh, I can't say that word properly. Reve Revengeance. Revengeance. So if you're a Metal Gear Solid fan, you'll know of this. This is like a spin-off um, with the character Raiden who appears in controversially in number two as the main character and it's a different style of Metal Gear game it's not a tactical stealth espionage type game it's um, I don't know how to describe it um, I haven't really I've barely played it but I've seen lots of footage of it it's like a hacker slasher but much more skilled um, it's a nine out of ten it takes at least three playthroughs, but it is very, very difficult. If you watch gameplay of this, you'll see what I mean. It's a very, very difficult platinum. Um, so, yeah, I was quite taken aback that you had this um, because it's just it's just not a game that really comes up. Um, even when I look at people's trophy lists in general, not just the platinums only like this, um, it just doesn't really appear. So, yeah, brav bravo. I think... I think this was probably the one that impressed me the most. Um, yeah, it's 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 one that I just we just don't see often. I don't think we'll see again for a while. So nicely done, Lancashire lad, on getting this one. Really, very well done. And then straight after a very difficult game, which again, by the way, I didn't mention, it took three weeks and one day. Um, straight on to a very, very hard platinum. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, 8 out of 10. 70 hours one week it's just mental absolutely mental and then i guess to complete the trilogy of insane platinums look at this nine out of ten eight out of ten nine out of ten uh ninja gaiden um which i think you'd done two earlier didn't you and so this one is slightly easier actually nine out of ten instead of ten out of ten and 90 hours instead of the 130 hours um, so you kind of did the hardest one first and then came back and did the easier one. Um, but yeah, this is, this run is mental from 18th March to 30th April. Um, a month and a half of, yeah, these three games is, yeah, crazy, absolutely crazy. And then you complete the Spyro trilogy, which is very nice. Doom Eternal, I know this is on PS Plus, um... This game really annoyed me. If you're going for the Platinum, the multiplayer is such a pain in the backside. You need two other people to boost because it's one versus two. And there's loads of multiplayer trophies. Um, no, not loads, but there's some of the trophies you have to do lots of things. Lots of things. It's just... Yeah, and it was hard for me to find people to boost with because otherwise I would have spent ages just doing the multiplayer. I think you've probably done this sincerely because you did it a year and a half so you probably didn't boost the multiplayer i think maybe you just played the multiplayer but um but the one player itself the single player is really good i still prefer doom though from i think 2016 the one that was earlier on your trophy list jack's x combat racing again another one day platinum what would be a week or two for other people the day for you injustice two six months three weeks very nice. Nitro Plus Blasters. Nice kind of short platinum in between all the super difficult ones you've been doing. Grand Blue Fantasy. And then back to the difficult platinums. Crash Bandicoot. 7 out of 10, 18 hours and done in three days. Uh, very nicely done. Very good. And then back to the PS3 God of War games. So you did Chain of Olympus in 11 hours. Um, God of War, Ghost of Sparta and Nine Hours and back-to-back -back days. Nicely done. Just kind of back-to-back -back God of War Platinums. Very nice. Very nice. 
Then onto your most latest platinum, which is Fighting EX Leia. Another fighting game, and again done in a day. So very, very nice. Um, and back to the top, I think this is uh, a very, I think we can all agree, a highly impressive trophy list full of insane games, absolutely insane platinums from software games, Ninja Gaiden games, Super Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Capcom. There's at least, I think, five, 10 out of 10 games and a lot more nine out of 10 games. Um, absolutely very impressive. You're definitely someone who likes to challenge yourself for the Platinums, um, which is very, very admirable. Um, so yeah, Lancashire Lad, thank you so much for submitting your trophy list. And thanks a lot for the wait. I know it's there's I've got quite a lot to get through, but life has just been very busy. So thank you guys for bearing with me. And yeah, it'd be great to hear from you, Lancashire Lad, especially about the co-op Resident Evil trophies and how you did the Titanfall Gauntlet. But yeah, well done. And if you can, let us know what you plan to do for your 100th Platinum, which at your rate is going to come very, very soon. So yeah, nice work. And as always, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button. And thanks a lot. Take care.